one of the things I've talked about with Nick, I think this isn't a, a type of strength and this is, this is a physical type of strength, but not a type of strength that a lot of people um, think about or, or have much reference for is your abilities, your body's ability to not break, right. which would be the number two version of strength, right? Your ability to not be moved. I saw guys all through SEAL training, lots of guys with like great physical ability. I knew a, a guy, he was a, he's from a legacy family. Multiple of his brothers were SEALs. The dude was a physical stud, looked the part, acted the part, but his body kept breaking. Mm -hmm. Just kept having injury after injury after injury when other guys wouldn't. Um, you know, I saw this when there was a huge study and, you know, this is going to, you know, make some, this is going to hurt somebody's feelings and I don't really care if it does. Um, when I was leaving the SEAL teams, they were doing a huge study on men versus women in the SEAL teams. Right. And this is when, you know, Congress was pushing for this and, you know, Rancorp, if you know who they are, came in and big like did like a big study and all of this stuff. And they brought the data and the facts with them. And a lot of people made their great arguments. What was really interesting was they were looking for like the input from the SEALs and like really how they felt and thought about it. Um, which, you know, Congress ended up approving it anyways, even though so many officers made some really incredible, uh, meaningful arguments. What was interesting was when Rancorp showed up and briefed all of us before, you know, we made our submissions, they told us some really interesting facts that they had already discovered on women versus men. And one of the things they talked about was, <laughs> it's crazy that we were even having this conversation. It's like that should have been the outlier right there. Um, one of the things they talked about was the injury rate of women. Right. Right, the average SEAL in training, get, I think it's like, uh, it was like 1.9 or 2.1 times, like the, like the average person gets injured multiple times in SEAL training, like doesn't even make it through. You are rare, the person who starts with a class, finishes with a class. Huh. Like I, I didn't. Yeah. Um, you know, I failed pool comp. Um, I got an infection in my leg. You know, this is multiple roles right there. This is rare, the SEAL who just start to finish, no mistakes, no injuries or anything. And they extrapolated that, the injury rate of, of men in SEAL training, against the injury rate of men and women in like sports. Like mm. they used basketball, yeah. for example. Like just the, I don't, I don't remember the, the specific data, but it was, you know, if you looked at the number of ACL tears yeah. in male basketball players versus the number of ACL tears in female basketball players, like that's very apples to apples. Yeah. Playing same sport. Playing yeah. the same game, like. 10 foot hoop. Yeah. Nothing's different except the size of the basketball. Yeah. Right, that's not what's causing the ACL tears. Yeah, women were getting injured, uh, just just NBA because that was the most like to like sport. And all the other ones, there's just too much. There's a little bit of difference. Yeah, so much more women, so many more women were having injuries like ACL tears in the NBA than men, and they were they had all this data around how much more women get injured in sports huh. than men. And they said it was like five or six times would be like for if a woman could, which I don't believe a woman can, if a woman could make it through SEAL training, they would get injured five or six times. Wow. Right. And I'm, I'm not saying that to dog on women. What I am saying and giving my opinion on, so sorry if you're um, upset about Garrett giving his opinion on something because we don't give a lot of opinions on here. Um, but giving my opinion on, on women's place and special operations, you know, I've had some, I've had some girls reach out to me on Instagram before. I don't, I don't know if it was valid or not. It kind of seemed like people trolling, but asking like, cause I get a lot of tadpoles who reach out to me and say, Hey, can, you know, yeah. have a question or whatever about, uh, becoming a seal. Uh, but I would have, I've had some young women reach out to me and like, Hey, you know, I want to become a seal. I've just not responded. Yeah. Uh, because what I'm not going to do is crush your dream, right? Yeah. I'm not going to crush your dream to your face. I don't, I don't, believe that women should be in the SEAL teams. I don't think it's a place for them. Um, for w one of those reasons being that women are very different than men. Yeah. Um, and it's apparent physically. Uh